Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we discuss a formula related to profit and loss. In order to make you understand this formula, in our previous classes, we discussed the basics. Please watch the classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, first try to understand the equation, then we go with the proof. Formula for weight, profit and loss. If one want to sell his goods at cost price. If, if you want to sell your goods at cost price. But uses false weights. Then gain percentage is equal to error divided by true value minus error multiplied by 100%. Gain percentage. Remember it carefully. Gain percentage is equal to this is the equation. First, try to understand with an example, then we will, uh, then easily you will understand what this formula is saying is. Uh, let's take an example. 1000 grams is uh, sold at 100 rupees. Assume that 1000 grams sugar is selling at 100 rupees. Uh, see, why we are taking 1000 grams for 100 rupees? Why not take other values? Here we are identifying gain percentage. Whenever we are taking a gain percentage, percentage values, whatever the values you have chosen, you will get the same gain percentage. This won't affect the, our gain percentage. Percentage won't get affected with this values. You can choose anything. For simplification, we have taken these values. These points we clearly discussed when we discussed the percentages examples. Okay, 1000 grams is sold at 100 rupees. Means what's the actual cost price of 1000 grams? 100 rupees. But he made a 40 grams error in weight. Means he is selling 960 grams at 100 rupees. See, 1000 grams, it is 100 rupees. So the cost price of 1000 grams is 100. But because of the false weights, he sold 960 grams for 100 rupees. So then what is the what is the amount you are going to get for 1000 grams? If you sell 960 grams for 100 rupees, what is the amount you are going to get for 1000 grams? Is x value. Take x this side, 1000 this side and 960 do the down. You are going to get the x value. x is equal to 100 multiplied by 1000 divided by 960. That is equal to 104.1. If you sell 1000 grams, how much you are going to get? 104.1. What is the actual cost price? 1000 grams? 100. So what is the amount you are going to get? 4.1. What is the gain percentage? 4.1. Because we have taken this as 100, directly we are getting the gain percentage. If you take another value, you have to find the percentage value. That's it. So with 40 grams, he get 4.1 rupees. So gain percentage is equal to 4.1. With 40 grams, he get 4.1 rupees. With 40 grams, he is going to get, see remember this point, we are stressing this point, 40 grams, he is going to get 4.1 rupees. See, because 960 grams sold at 100 rupees. For 40 grams, if 1000 grams sold at 100 rupees, for 40 grams you are going to get 4 rupees. But here 960 grams sold at 100 rupees. That's why for 40 grams you got 4.1 rupee. This point very very important to understand the equation which we discussed. So gain percentage is given as error divided by true value minus error out of multiplied by 100. So 40 grams out of 960, 1000 minus 40, which is 960, multiplied by 100. So that is what the percentage you are going to get. So in percentage, whatever the whatever the cost price is, it won't affect the percentage. That's why this, this equation says, why it is true value minus error. 1000 minus 40, which is 960. So actual weight is 960. Okay, 40 grams out of 960 multiplied by cost price. Usually you have to play, you have to use cost price. Here, if you take it as, see, percentage won't get affected. Multiplied by 100 is going to give the 
cost price that's why that's why percentage won't get affected whatever the cost price is that point you have to understand 40 by true value minus error it is a thousand minus 40 which is equal to multiplied by 100 40 by 960 multiplied by 100 which is 4.1 percent that's why that is how you got this equation gain percentage is going to get as a error divided by true value minus error multiplied by 100 so in our next class we are going to do some complex examples based on this formula and remember that how we solve this formula how we understand that formula that with this this basic concept is very very important in solving the next problems so remember this how we got the t equation with that you are going to solve the next examples hope you understand these examples if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you